Hey, and welcome to this mark making tutorial. I'm Monica, and I'm an abstract artist. Adding marks to artworks is one of my favorite things to do when I'm painting. It can make a flat painting pop or have character and add some flow to your composition. And it's just really fun to do. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you one easy mark making exercise that you can add to your sketchbook. The point of this exercise is to practice making marks to your artwork while also creating a cool, funky, abstract plant artwork. If you're just getting started with abstract art or any sort of painting, I highly recommend getting a sketchbook to experiment, play with different compositions and colors, and to practice experimental mark making in a more comfortable and no pressure way. Having a sketchbook not only acts as a great way to get into a creative flow, but also can act as your own book of your own original ideas and references that you can transfer to your bigger paintings or compositions in the future. So grab your sketchbook and let's begin. So for this sketchbook prompt, I'll be using some acrylic paints, some markers, crayons, and pens, but really you can use whatever medium you'd like. So the first step is optional. If you want to add a light background, you can use one or two colors. And I used a lot of water to water it down and make it a lot thinner so it's not too overwhelming when I add the leaf sprig. Once your background is dry, you can start figuring out where you're going to add your leaf sprig. And I will be lightly sketching out where I would like it using my crayon and then I'll outline it with my pen. And you want to make sure the leaves are large enough so that you'll be able to add some marks inside of them. Cool, so I'm pretty happy with that and I'm going to trace over it using a pen. And tracing over it is totally optional as well if you just kind of want to leave it pretty light and make the marks pop out a little more. That's cool too. All right, now it's time to add some marks. If you wanted to use a specific color palette, um, you can, or if you want to make it totally random and super colorful, go for it. That's um, one of the cool things about this exercise is it can be totally random, totally planned. Either way, you're working on creating marks that you can hopefully transfer to your paintings in the future. So I'm going to start filling this leaf with some lines. A continuous line is also really fun and easy to add. You can also fill in one of the leaves. Either halfway or totally filling it, adding some marks on top. Or I kind of like doing this method of splitting a leaf in half and then adding some marks on the other half. You also want to make sure you're going at a pretty quick pace. This will sort of make you think less and overthink less about where you're putting marks on the page, allowing you to practice painting and creating in a more flowy state that is a lot more natural. All right, and 
and here is my leaf sprig. I'm super happy with this cute little sprig. If you wanted to continue adding more marks, like to the background and kind of where there's more open space, go for it. Again, this is just a simple, easy exercise to add to your sketchbook with pretty much no pressure. That's um, what the goal is, is to just get your creativity flowing. I hope you were able to have fun creating this sprig and experiment with mark making. It's a great and easy way to boost your creativity and have fun with your art. <laughs> if you enjoyed this tutorial and would like some more abstract sketchbook prompt ideas, like this video and also subscribe because this is a baby YouTube channel and it truly helps and lets me know if y'all are interested in learning more about abstract art and sketchbooking. Thanks again for watching, go get dangerous and create.